What's up guys? So today I'm going to go through three ways you can make your first $100 a day online. So for some of you that might sound like a lot and so for some of you that might sound like not that much. But today I'm going to focus on the beginners and the people who are already working to make their first $100 a day online. So I want to walk you through three ways that I think is more than possible to achieve that. Um, and one of the ways that I personally use myself, it was a way that I used to make my first $100 a day online, which at the time was amazing. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, the first way that I want to go through to make uh, $100 a day online is through something that's called retail arbitrage. And so retail arbitrage takes many forms. Um, basically, the premise of it is that you buy a product whether it's uh, physically or online, um, and then you resell it later on a different platform. Uh, my example would be eBay. I would use eBay to resell. That's where I've done retail arbitrage in the past. Uh, just an example, I remember when I was back in high school, uh, they had a deal at the local um, uh, shopping center where they were selling all PlayStation 2 games for a dollar, uh, regardless, of uh, uh, when it came out. It was just a special deal that they were doing uh, for a dollar. And so I went in and I grabbed the biggest handful I could. I think I grabbed about 20 games and then I resold them all online. And I think I made on average about five pounds back. So at the time that was really good. I was so happy. And then I started doing that a little bit more. So I'm just gonna go through a few ways. The first way you can do this retail arbitrage is to physically go yourself into Walmart or if you're here in the UK, Tesco, go to the clearance aisle. Go to the clearance aisle and look through different things that you think that you could sell for more. Something that has a perceived value that is more than it's priced for. And what I mean by perceived value is something that you can take, for example, let's say I have this ball right here, this massage ball. Um, I bought it for, I think, something like a pound or something like that. But its perceived value, depending on how I market it, could be three pounds, it could be five pounds. I could market it as a luxury uh, massage ball or something like that and market it for five pounds. So I'm talking about something that you can perceive a higher value for what you can get it at. And there's gonna be lots of things, things like baby products, kids toys, household items, kitchen items, a lot of things. And pick that up, get that product and resell it on eBay. Um, the next way I wanna go through to use re retail arbitrage is online. And you essentially doing the same thing, this, but this time you don't have to go actually into the store. And so right here, I'm on Walmart website. I am on the big, this page that says big savings, 20, 40% off. And you can see that these items are on rollback. And so, for example, I I think um, kids items is a very good category. It's in a category that people are uh, motivated to buy from. They obviously have an emotional target. P p p parents are willing to spend money on their children, uh, which is always good. And so it's personally a niche that I like to go into. And so we can see here's the first one, baby trends, sit right high, chair bobble heads. It was $70. $70 and here it's been priced at $47.99. It's got decent amount of reviews. It looks like it's selling well. And so yeah, so that's just one example. We got it for $47.99. We buy that product. Actually, you don't even have to buy that product. You can take it one step further and drop ship it meaning you can place that product on eBay on uh, your store. You can place that for maybe $64.99 so that you're undercutting the other previous people because the other, before this went on sale, people would have been pricing that $75, $76, just you know, making a tiny bit of profit. You can price that even at $70. And so after fees and everything, probably come to about $52, you're, you're, you're still taking home $18. And that's a huge profit margin for one item so that's just one example right there and if you just look at next to it same sort of thing some rollback if you just keep going through we can see there's multiple items on rollback 49.99 or 62.99 this uh, baby monitor was 109 pounds and now it's 59.99 and uh so yeah 
just you can do this with honestly every I went on I typed in target when you can click on the clearance section and like I say I know people personally who make a full-time income on this uh, whether through sell on eBay or Amazon FBA um, people make full-time you can do this not just with online websites you can also do it with things like Craigslist you can do things in the in the UK Friday ad or even better Facebook um, shop where people sell all their secondhand stuff I, I bought lots of stuff I've sold stuff off there um, you can do the same thing find things um, search them online and see if that you can make a profit from it and then resell it online and so like there's there's I can just click top deal let's see what that says Oh, if that loads. Okay, I don't know why it's not loading. None of this is loading. Okay, here we go. Home clearance, another good category. Another category that sells well. A lot of people always ask me what are certain categories, certain type of items to stay away from. And I would say more than anything is electronics. Uh, you can sell a few small electronics here and there, maybe toys, electronics. But if you're going to sell things at like $200, $300, the chance that it can fail is a lot higher. So the chance that you'll get a return or a complaint is way higher. So I would stay away from that. It's not worth the stress, not worth having to go through all of that. I generally stay away from electronics as much as I can. Um, sometimes they do list them, but they're usually not really high ticket items that are more than a hundred dollars. So, yeah. Well, these are in clearance as well. See, this is anywhere between 56 to 149. Let's just say it's 142.49, and it's really priced at 189.99. So you can see right there after the fees, you can sell for, you could even sell for 189.99. You can sell for 180. And uh, after fees and everything, there's about thirty dollars in profit right there. So <laughs> that's that's a very very good amount of profit. Okay, and so for the second thing I want to go through today is uh, drop shipping on AliExpress. And so I'm sure most of you heard of AliExpress. For you, for those who don't know AliExpress, it's just like uh, Alibaba. It's a Chinese wholesale website. Except you don't have to buy things in bulk. You don't have to buy a hundred units at a time. You can just buy one thing and get it sold. And so a thing I like to do if I'm selling products from AliExpress um, is that I'll I'll go for something. Let's see. Hmm. Let's type in. Let's see that. There's toys. Oh geez, what's done? Toys and hobbies. Oh my goodness. I'll just type this in. Kids toys. Also, while I'm at it, just one thing to note: do not. I cannot stress it enough from pe from people I've coached who've got bans and suspensions and restrictions on their account. Do not sell fake items. Do not sell rip-off brand items. You'll get flagged so fast by buyers. Just I I have a friend the other day. Um, he was selling things on Express. He didn't even know it was fake. Um, I don't know how, <laughs> but he sold two items. Uh, no, he two of his items. Sorry, excuse me. That sold. Um, he got complaints, saying it was fake, and eBay restricted his account straight away. I mean, he got it back at the end of the day, but all that hassle and he lost traction on his sales and things like that it wasn't worth it at all. So next thing we're going to do is going to go sort by, and we're going to click orders. And the reason that we're going to click on orders is that we want to see what's selling well. We don't want to just see what's popular on the website, what they want to push out. So we want to see what's actually selling. And so straight away, we can see these empty soap bottles, wedding pies. That's not really a kid's toy. Um, there, let's see here. This high quality water blowing bubble gun <laughs> soap bubble. We can see that there's been 1,437 sales. So we know this is selling. Pe people would not be ordering this item if it wasn't selling well. And so we can see here selling at 130 a piece. Um, yeah, 130 a piece. So 
I would probably go over and advertise this maybe like $5 or something like that. Oh, sorry, while I'm at it, just so I remember, make sure you choose something, make sure you choose ePacket. Just because you don't want it to take 50 days. I don't know about you, but when you order something, you don't want it to take 50 days to come. So make sure when you're advertising this, you put the delivery time. It's going to take two, three weeks or whatever. You make sure you tell them in advance so you don't get in trouble. Um, but see here, so this is $1.30. We can sell that for maybe five, six dollars on eBay and keep about two, one, even just one dollar from that would be great. And so it doesn't sound like much, but when you sell 10, 15, 20, 30 of those a day, it all adds up quite a lot. You could, for such a small item like this that sells really, really well, you can, you can sell up to 50 of these a day even if it was really that good. And so imagine if you had like 10 of these, each selling with $1 profit and you sell 10 of those a day. I don't you think that sounds reasonable? If you, if you sold 10 of these a day and you had 10 of these products, you'd be making $100 a day. Now, that doesn't sound unreasonable, especially if you had maybe 100 products just selling one of these things a day, no problem. Um, okay, and so the next thing I want to go back to is kind of an extension of retail arbitrage. Um, when we talked about drop shipping with retail arbitrage, um, but what I mean by retail arbitrage, if I go back over to Walmart, and let's just go back to the main page. Uh, what re what retail drop shipping is is something that I've explained in my previous videos, and it's something that I do now, uh, which which makes me six figures a year, which I built up to make six figures a year. Um, is I find a product online. So here we go. We got warm up. I'm gonna go on something. Let's see, trending on warm up. Let's just have a look at that. We're gonna see this. Okay, so we see it's got decent reviews, everything. And so I'm gonna take this product, I'm gonna take this title, I'm gonna take this description, I'm gonna highlight this all, and I'm gonna to go to eBay. And I'm gonna list that item, I'm gonna copy over the images, I'm gonna copy over the description and I'm going to sell it like that but with my margin and so you can use many websites to get to figure out how much there's so many if you just type in eBay sales calculator online there'd be many websites that tell you there'd be many websites that tell you exactly what your fees are and so how much you will have to sell a certain item in order to make money. So I'm just gonna click on, let's see this one. I've used many of these before, just testing out, comparing them, things like that. So I know that this one's good. I sell mainly in the UK, but I also sell in the US as well. And so I have two, currently two UK stores and a US store as well. So we can see here, so Say I'm gonna be a business seller, which you will be if you wanna start selling properly full-time or even part-time business. I haven't got a shop, let's say that. And so let's go back on to here. And see so this, say we're gonna get a twin, which I imagine is $45. So I'm just gonna type out even though those pounds, it's the same principle. Um, I actually don't know how much Walmart charges for their shipping because I actually only use Amazon. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna say that it's, it, it can't be that much. I'm just gonna say it's 3.95. And so, oh, sorry, excuse me, I'm gonna, Put that in the costs, not how much I'm selling it for. Say I'm going to sell that for, let's say 59.97. And obviously we're gonna charge nothing for shipping because we wanna get that fast and free sign on our listings. 
And so now I'm going to let it do the math. And so we can see the item costs 45, shipping costs 395. Um, all the fees associated with selling cost eight pounds eighty four. That would give me two pounds. So I would actually probably price that for a little bit more, just because I try to go for at least at least about three pounds per listing. But if you're just starting off, that's a very, I would that's a decent amount of profit if you, especially if you're a new seller on eBay. And so so I would, as I said, I would list that on eBay. Take all that details over. I would edit the title to optimize it. You can use a website called Title Builder. And so what this website will do is that when you search associated keywords with this product, it'll search for the most um, most used keywords for that title. So I'll show you an example. I don't, I used to use it and it works really well, but now I have my listing software that automatically gives it while I'm listing it, which is really useful. But I'm going to type in, what was it? Uh, slumber mattress. Okay, so you can see some of the associated words. One of the most ones is crib, but I'm, I wouldn't include that just because it's not for babies. I can see moonlight, dual, litter, dreamer. So that show you the most um, associated keywords that get the highest volume on the search results. And so the reason why we want to include that in our title is that it will boost our ranking in the search results. So when a person searches for the item, you'll get higher up. And so you'll have a greater chance of making a sale. And so essentially that's what dropshipping i hope that's cleared up with things a little bit more of how it works and so that i personally do that i personally drop ship it's something that i think is especially good for beginners because you can start with virtually no money i when i say virtually no money the reason is that you have to pay for listing fees uh in the uk it's 30 pence i'm sure in the us i think it's it's really similar something I don't really worry about, the listing fees, because you're gonna make back your money because you're gonna take that into account. The other reason I say virtually no money down is that most likely if you start a new PayPal, they're gonna put your payments on hold, so you're gonna have to pay the money up front maybe for your first one or two products until uh, you get that authorization from PayPal, so where you can actually release your funds after that. So after you get those, you're, in future you'll be able to do, when someone pays you, you can withdraw that into your bank account and then obviously make a purchase and keep the profit. Um, so yeah, that's my three ways of making $100 online and eBay. Um, all of these three ways take virtually no money down. That's why I love it. It's something that you can do whatever your age you are. If you're just a broke kid in school, um, I was a broke kid in university. So it was something that I like to start something um, that I think anyone could start just as maybe as a side hustle and that originally for me It was just a side hustle just to make a little bit of money on the side to pay for groceries food and things like that and books uh, But now it's my full source of income um, And it's more income than I ever thought I could make uh, <laughs> and it's probably more than I would make at any Decent job for sure. So um, Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see more videos like this um, Just let me know in the comments if you have any questions Ask me down in the comments. Uh, I'm very active. Obviously, I'm new to YouTube, and I just I'm making videos just to help people out. I've I've figured out what works, what doesn't work. Uh, made a lot of mistakes, so now I'm just trying to help people uh, achieve the first hundred dollars a day online and the first uh, 10k a month. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one. Okay, take care.